Welcome to the Eric Kamadeka Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined with Eric Kamadeka, head coach of the indoor track and field teams. And coach, it seems like every time we talk, you know, somebody else is qualifying for something, you know, great success going on on both sides of the teams. Yeah, that's the goal for this year is to get better every single weekend. That's what's happening. So, you know, it's a sign of progress. Uh, busy weekend this weekend, going all over the place. Um, Thursday, we, we took the women to Navy. They had a great experience on that facility. We opened up Dion Hicks in the pentathlon. We only gave her really three days to really prepare for it. And she did a great job. She actually scored almost 100 more points than we thought she was going to score in that event. Uh, put herself in the top four in the MAC right now. And so we're going to play with her this weekend and kind of see what she's going to do because she's so versatile now being able to do all those events plus more. Then we went into Friday where we left with a, a couple of our athletes to Boston. We took our two woman throwers up there, and then we took two male sprinters and two male jumpers, and they, they had a heck of a weekend. Um, Adam DeBigotti had continued on his success with the world jump, you know, jumping another PR, jumping 1409, putting himself 16, which is just right outside of making nationals right now. Kenneth Scott Kilo did a great job uh, matching his career PR or being about .10 off. And then Devontae Williams, you know, we accomplished what we did, what we wanted to up there. He went, ran up there, won his heat in the 60, won his heat in the 200. We believe his qualifying time will get him into the national meet. And then the big surprise was Matt Riggins. I mean, he ran really, really well this weekend. He's made himself a contender for MAC championships. And then also on Saturday, Coach Bredan took our distance team up to Haverford, and Langston Gash qualified for ECACs, broke the school record in the mile, and Idris Idris, sounds so nice, got to say it twice, right? <laughs> um, he ran 158 in the, two, in the 800, and he's put himself in position now and broke the school record as well. Yeah, it's, it seems like every week a, a personal record is going down or a school record is going down, and it just isn't stopping, and I don't think it's going to stop even through the outdoor season. Yeah, we, we hope to continue on with this. I was just talking to one of my coaches, you know, what they think we can do during the outdoor season. You know, as long as everyone's staying healthy, we keep on in this progression. You know, there's a lot of big things that are going to happen this year for this team. And this past weekend was a big weekend for you guys, getting people the rest that they needed or the qualifications that they were looking for. This weekend's going to be no different. Some people that need to keep the repetitions up are going to be competing, and then some people that are still trying to get their qualifications for the MAC, ECACs, and Nationals are still going to be competing as well. Yeah, this weekend's going to be an interesting weekend for us. You know, again, some will be taken off this weekend to get ready for MAC championships because we accomplished what we needed to, so the rest is going to be big for them just to kind of get into the mental aspect and get their bodies healed up. And then for some of the others, you know, they're still trying to get that MAC qualifier or they need to fine-tune one of their events to make sure that they put themselves in position for us to score well and a lot of the athletes are holding on to some national rankings that's huge for the program yeah i think we're guaranteed at least two one on each side danique is holding on to six right now in the woman's shot put Devontae's number six in the men's 200 and then adam's looking for a spot to go in that triple jump you know hopefully at the conference meet uh, we have a couple guys who are in the top 15 20 in the country mm-hmm. in the triple jump in our conference so it's going to be a big opportunity for us to send multiple athletes to nationals this year and just qualifying for the mac uh meet is an accomplishment and then at that mac meet you can qualify for numerous other meets yeah so the big goal then for those who are not going to be able to go to the national meet is you know getting that eca seat standard mm-hmm. uh this is going to be the biggest crew we took taken up to eca season in a long time you're going to actually be taking a big 47 passenger bus instead of some vans so it's nice to be able to see the success and growth of the program over the past two and a half years very exciting and rapid growth and a wonderful year of success and i hope uh, you guys keep it going two more weeks in the indoor schedule yeah. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck and safe travels uh, this weekend. Great. Thank you. He's Eric Kamadeka. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Eric Kamadeka Show.